Hey everyone, it's Grub Magnet here with another tutorial. This one is of City Skylines, the Xbox One edition, and this game's really cool. I'm really enjoying this. I'm only a little way into the game. I've played several hours so far, but it's a bit confusing when you start. So I'm going to give you a quick beginner's guide here on how to set up and how the game works, and there's lots more that you'll learn. So here's the first page you get here. So we're going to click New Game. I'm just going to go with the default Black Woods. It automatically gives you a city name. If you're in the UK and you want to have left-hand traffic, you can. So you can click that on there. And then on the next stage, you can choose things to be on or off, like dynamic weather, day-night cycle. I leave the day-night cycle off because sometimes it seems to get stuck on night, and it's quite annoying. And there's other cheats you can put on there, like unlimited money and stuff like that. So let's get that building. So what is Cities Skyline? Well, it's a um, city building game. So if you remember back in the day, Sim City and games like that, where you can build a city from scratch, it's like that. Um, works really well on the Xbox One, and it's part of the Xbox Game Pass. So if you've got access to that, which is one pound currently for your first month, and then seven pounds ninety nine thereafter. About the only help you get initially is this that says this starts by doing some roads and it's like great that doesn't really help me that much it does come up with some pop-up stuff but it's a bit difficult I, you know, it took me a little while to understand what was going on so let's walk you through your left stick pans you around right stick uh, spins the camera around and then your R2 zooms in and your L2 zooms out so fairly easy pretty typical for for most games. So what we've got here, we've got this very basic road coming in and out of the city and nothing else. And it's your job to build a city and expand it over time. Now this tutorial, I'm going to cover about 20 minutes of gameplay. Um, so you'll see how I would set up a city and there's a couple of things that are quite difficult. Now you can see down the bottom left, time is progressing and I'm doing nothing. So a nice thing you can do is if you press that once, it'll pause. And then it'll tell you what to do. Build roads to expand your city. Select road type, blah, blah, blah. Close that. And we'll go over to roads. So I'm using the D-pad to move across the bottom menu there. So I'm just hitting right to go to roads, pressing A. And then you can pick what roads you want, which is going to go with small roads. But if you hit RB or LB, you can see there's different roads. And as the game progresses, these things that are padlocked open up as you get more advanced. So we're going to go with this simple two-lane road here. Press the A button. And you can zoom in and look overhead and then just click A at the start of where this point of this little road is at the minute and then go, go up a little bit and it gives you some help. You can see things pop along, tells you more blurb, just ignore that for the minute. Um, and if you change the angle, you can see the angle changes to try and help you build straight stuff. Now, one thing to bear in mind is as you build the city, the amount of road you get has an upkeep cost so you don't want to be making masses of road to begin with genius I just made a little bit there and then we're going to do another one here so I'm going 90 degrees across I'm just going to go yeah let's go across to say here okay not very exciting so far you can see nothing's getting really constructed at the minute because everything's on pause so I'm seeing a, a rough idea how things are going to go which is fine and then I'm also going to extend that road across this way. It's going to go right the way out that way as well. Okay, so I've got the basics of a road. whoop de doop -de. You know, that's pretty boring, isn't it? So hit A again. I'll just join those up. Um, and then you see some bits and bobs going along. So it's said to build houses, um, but we're just going to carry this on a little bit and just make a bit more space. So we've got, up, let's say, to there. Whoops. There. And then we'll go across again. Oh, there. And you see these lines come up as you're building to try and help you link things together. So I've got like this little area here for housing. If you look at the bottom right, there's a green bar. And that's basically saying you need to build houses. So there's a green bar, a blue bar, which is um, commercial stuff like shops. And then yellow, which is, or orange, is industrial. So um, in industry as well. And we're going to have a look at that all in a minute. Okay, so we've got that done, and we'll come out, and then it'll say about zoning and districts is the next one over. So B is to go back a menu, and then I'm using the right button here to go across, and then I'm going to go for this one here, which is zoning and districts. Hit A, and these are the different zones. So if you're unsure what something is, if you hit the right stick down, it'll tell you residential zone, tells you a bit about it, right stick, commercial zone 
and industrial zone and other zones open up as you move. So we're going to grab the low density residential zone and you see I get this green bar and this means it's going to place residential stuff here. So I'm going to pop some green stuff there and some green stuff there. Okay, and then I'm going to hit back. And again, nothing's happening because I've paused because we've got to sort out some other stuff or these guys are going to start moaning. And we've got to sort out the utilities. Now this totally threw me to begin with, but of course houses need power and light uh, to, sorry, power and light, power um, and water. And this threw me completely to begin with. So electricity is fairly simple, wind turbine, we're going to use that. You can use coal plants and stuff, but I'm going to go for the electric wind turbine. And anywhere dark blue on the map has the best output. So you can see there I'm getting 7 megawatts here, 6 megawatts here, 4 megawatts. So as you'd expect over on the coast, um, you have some dark blue areas. So I'm going to chuck this little guy here. And then you need to connect this to where your houses are going to be. So we go back a step and we click the pylon and then we'll click A and then just run this across over here to provide power to our city. So you lay this the same as you do a road. So we're just banging them across. That'll do for the minute. So we've got the, light, the start of our power. Hit B again and then right button to go over in the same menu to your water and sewage. And this is the bit that really caught me out. So pay attention blitz. Um, you need to have a water pumping station. Again if you hit B it tells you a bit about it. And it said oh yeah It'll take in fresh water, you need a water break, drain pipe to work properly, road, road connection not required, blah blah blah. Um, so it says take in fresh water. So I didn't really think much about that, I just stuck them next to each other because there's a water pump and a water drain. Now hopefully you're more sensible than me, but this said avoid pumping sewage upstream. So I didn't know what that meant, I thought it meant between the pipes. So I put on this, this one here, I tried, where did I go first? I think I put them both over here, which was wrong because uh, if you are pumping out dirt and it goes back into this in input, it makes things ill. So um, if you click on the water drain pipe, this is what uh, I immediately went to the top left stuff here and it told me stuff about what water is and blah, blah, blah. What I completely missed is this, which if I zoom out are these arrows on the water itself and this shows the flow of water, how it's coming into the region. And you can see down here, it's flowing quite a lot and the furthest place you can put it out is down here. And if I put my uh, my um, drain pipe over here, what that means is it's going to drain out straight off of the screen, which is perfect. So that's where we want to chuck it. So I'm going to pop that there. And then if we hit B again and we go to the water pumping station, and then you can pick another area that's going to be good for that, where it's not going to get polluted. Um, and you can place that anywhere as long as the flow is well away from the... But it doesn't have to be well away, as long as the flow is a bit away from stuff there. So I'm going to put it up here where there's a little bit of flow and fresh water coming in. I don't suppose it overly matters as long as they're a decent way away. But you want to also keep it away from anything polluting, like if you're going to do polluted industry. You can also see down the bottom right here there's not much flow of water at all. There's none in fact. So I don't know whether that makes much of a difference, but... Just to be safe, I'm going to chuck it here. So, so that's my um, two bits done. And then you can see it flashes up a little pipe thing saying, we need some pipes, and very true. So we go back again with the B, hit A, and then I'm going to run a pipe all the way down. I'm going to zoom out. Now the downside of this is this obviously costs to run this pipe, but you're going to fill this map up pretty quick anyway. So I'm going to run the pipe down to there, press A, and then run the pipe right over to connect to my little pumping station here. So that's cool. We've got the start of our water pipes here and there you can see there's this like blue area and that shows where water will be supplied. So it's kind of like the coverage area. So you can see these houses that are going to be built here are outside that. So I'm going to run another set of pipes here and then just connect it there and we're almost good but we've got to think about power now. So let's have a little look at our power. So I hit B again right stick and I'm going to hit the pylon and you can see that one's okay I've got power running to there cool but I haven't got any power up here so you can get caught out so my setup is going to require another way of generating power up here so I'll chuck another one of these here got to keep an eye on your money you can see I'm down to $34,000 down the bottom side there it's fine I've got enough money but I've spent out quite a bit and I've done nothing 
Okay, so the fun is going to start now, honest. Right, so we hit B there, um, and we're going to hit the left stick and press it down. And then what will happen is our pylons will get constructed. You don't worry about this dead dead bit of power here, that's fine, because I hope anyway. <laughs> we'll check the power system if we have a little look in a minute. As those pylons get built, we should see power start coming into the area in a minute. You can also speed things up by holding down the left stick. So what you can see now is stuff is being built. So I've got these little houses being built, um, which is really fun the way they build. Um, and once they are built, people will start moving in. So we can have a little look at our power lines again. And we can see indeed power is being provided to those. We've got our water as well. Nothing's being moaned about. So although we've done a lot of work there, you can see it's all paying off now. And we've got these little houses being built. And it's all good. So we've got the start of our little city. So you can see the little green bar has now come down a bit because we've built some houses and stuff's being constructed. People are moving in and they're quite happy. We're still making a magnificent loss. So you can see next to the money we've got 868 eight minus. And the reason for that is we've not got many people in, in the place at the moment. And there's not much for them to do. There's not much work or anything. So we've got to work on that. But we're just going to let this expand a little bit. And you can see our people are jumping up now. I've got 188 people moving in, which is cool. And as those people grow, you'll see that the cost overall will start falling as we've got some people to get stuff in. Now, if you look at the bottom right, the bars of the blue and the orange are growing. And this is to say that there's some demand for the blue commercial stuff and the orange industrial stuff. So let's just pause and see if we can have a little think about how to do those. Okay, so... Um, we're going to hit B to come back out of there, and we're going to have a little look at our map here. Now, you can just do commercial stuff in exact... Sorry, not commercial, residential stuff in exact... Okay, put my teeth in. Um, I can't even remember the name of the zones now. We're going commercial and industrial in much the same way as we've done the residential. So we'll do some uh, commercial stuff first. So I'm going to grab a road... I'm just going to extend this up again so you know how to do this. So I won't teach you to suck eggs. So you can see from far out, it's quite easy to construct that. And what I'm going to do is now I've got that done. Go to the commercial, low density commercial zone, press A, and then I'm going to make all of this shops and that little one there as well. Shops. So our little people are going to have some shop stuff move in and the other thing you've got to do is just check your energy is going to supply up to there doesn't look like it quite can at the minute so we shall pop a bit of electric over here uh, and then hopefully when that's built that'll help that area come in i might need to go back and readdress that in a minute we'll have a look okay so we've got that and we also need to look at the water pipes. So we'll go to water pipes. And you can see they almost cover this area, but not quite. So we'll chuck in some water pipes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Brr. And then run them across. And that's then going to provide some water to the area as well. Okay, so we should hopefully have enough there for our little shops to start growing so let's be out and press the fast forward and see what happens and what I want to do is keep an eye on that power to see um, whether anything is is going to go or whether I've messed it up anything yes we've got some stuff being built now so let's just check the power supply and that's running from there so so far so good and you can see the first of our shops is starting to be built. And um, yeah, we can speed that up a little bit. We like with time. It's only got about five minutes left. So um, I hope this is giving you an idea of how, how things build. But we, we will still keep building stuff and see what we can make. So um, let's go and I'm going to build another road up here and just join it up there. And then what I'm going to say is, just for argument's sake, show you how to make a bit of industry. Now, you can make an industrial zone that is just a standard industrial zone in much the same way. And you can go to the yellow 
buttons. I'm just going to pause that a minute while we have a quick look at industry. And to begin with, that's all you can do. Um, however, I think it's worth waiting a little bit because you can actually um, paint some stuff when you've got enough people in the area. So what I'm going to do is just um, allow this to develop a little bit more. So how's, how's our housing going? So, but you can see there's a real clamber for industry in the area. So you can either say, oh, I'll build the industry and risk pollution, which I suppose we'll do just for this tutorial because I think it's going to take a little while um, for this. So we will chuck, we're going to make it some industry there because we can always convert it to a different type. The trouble, why I'm a bit hesitant on it is the standard industry is very polluting and although although it's fast to build, you, you might, might regret it a little bit later. Um, right, that'll do. But we're going to build some industry over here just so you can see how it works. But you're free to change yours however you see fit. But you can see there's a big demand for it, so let's chuck some there. And here, whoops, and here, and here. Okay, so we've got a bit of industry going on there. We need to sort out the road, not the roads, the uh, energy, oh, sorry, the electricity. So let's run some pylons over there, like so. And I'll run some up here just so we can get electric into the area. And we also need to sort out the water. Uh, da -da -da. There we go. And you can see they're already moaning for water. Water, we need water. There we go. Now you can see as soon as that started building, the orange bar started to go down, which is great. And we're starting to make some income. So you can see with my money, although I've spent a small fortune, I'm actually starting to make a profit now um, with the type of place that I've got. Um, let's just have a quick look at that energy. That looks okay. And yeah, we've got the start of our industry going on there, which is nice. Uh, let's see. Oops. Don't know whether we need any more power there or not. Mm, nope. I'm just going to refund that, actually. Ugh, forgot how to do it now. Just going to check that I have got that covered as industry. Aha! So I've made it to 320, which is cool. And then you can start unlocking other stuff. So we can probably see. Let's have a look. Can we get it yet? No, not yet. Uh, we can see things is coming along nicely. I'm just trying to see why it's not building over there. I'm not sure. A minute. I guess maybe because there's no demand for it at the minute. We're getting a slight demand for residential again. And you can see the shops are still um, slowly building. And uh, so, yeah, we'll just add a little bit more. Now, obviously, this game gets very big and complicated over time. Um, but this hopefully gives you an idea of how it works. And as the game progresses, more and more stuff opens up for you to build. Uh, you can change your industry to more interesting stuff. I was hoping I could show you that, but I guess the population needs to be a bit bigger. I'm running out of time. Um, uh, you can see I've got power problems there. So let's just sort that out. Power. Up. One sec. Get up there. There we go. I'm just doing that obviously quite rubbishly, but just to give you an idea of how we make the PowerPoint. There we go. So they should have power in a minute. Oh no. Oh no. That should be all right. What I will do is just connect this power to our wind farm up here as well and then I was gonna 
How's my house? It's going. God, you can see that it it gets a bit mad over a bit. This is why the pause button is quite useful because you can see it's now becoming more effort to do stuff. Uh, so I need to run some power points here. I've still not quite got the hang of exactly how you've got to place power lines um, to cover the area. I need to look more at that. Uh, but you get the idea anyway. And the, I think I've got the pipes right. Let me just make sure that they cover an area like so. I should think the power's probably the same, thinking about it. There we go. And then this will carry on building. And you can see I've already got some money here. What you can then do from here is you'll see more stuff start to unlock. So you can see I can do things like I can add some healthcare. So let's just pop that in to keep all our residents healthy. I could also go here and add a little school for our little people. And I'm going to finish in a minute because I'm aware we're over 20 minutes now. But you get the idea with it. You see, you see, you keep them happy there. And as more stuff unlocks, things like, um, I could add someone to collect the garbage, police stations open up, etc., etc., as the whole thing builds up. Um, that's where I want to leave it. So if you, I'll just leave you one last thing which I really like about this, which is it's real fun looking at the city up close. Let's slow it down a little bit so we can see little people, little trucks going along, little people uh, going about their way. There's some great little um, details like different cars. So it's like a proper little life going on. I like little extras like random bits of furniture and things on top of buildings. So it's beautifully detailed and worth a look to keep an eye on things as it goes. But look how much difference there is as you go around here, all the different cars and things. All your street signs are all nicely named. Um, your little shops. You can see all do different stuff um, and yeah I mean it obviously gets a lot more impressive over time um, as the city builds up but I hope that's given you an idea on how to start it like I say it's part of the Xbox one game pass so if you want to try it really cheap have a look there or I think it's about 20 pounds normally um, if that was useful to you give us a thumbs up please any comments really welcome if you'd like to see more stuff on city skylines let me know and I will have a look at making some more stuff and please subscribe to the channel thanks very much for watching